Imagine a world where everyday objects such as cars, appliances and street lights are connected and constantly exchanging data. That's the world of IoT and the sheer volume of data that is generated by these devices can be overwhelming. That's where IoT platforms come in. They act as a central hub for all this data, making it easier to manage and analyze. My name is Aryar Nath and welcome to IoT Frontier. In this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, top IoT cloud platforms. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so that you'll never miss an episode. IoT cloud platforms provide a platform to connect, manage and analyze data coming from IoT devices. The top IoT cloud platforms include AWS IoT, Azure IoT, ThingSpeak, ThingsBoot, etc. This video will be the part one of the IoT cloud platform series that I am going to create. And also I will be creating a playlist in this YouTube so that uh, it is easy for you guys to navigate uh, through videos. In this video, we will talk about the first IoT cloud platform that is AWS IoT. So also we will discuss about the services that are offered under AWS IoT and we will also look into an example where uh, we will discuss the IoT solution uh, with AWS services and we, uh, in the form of architecture design. So stay tuned until the end of this video. Let's get into the presentation. The first we will discuss what is the need of this IoT cloud platforms. So cloud platforms are essential for IoT because they provide platform to connect, manage, analyze data from the IoT devices. Here are the, some of the reasons why cloud platforms are crucial for IoT. So uh, if you look into the top five uh, features, the first one is about the scalability. So scalability is for IoT devices uh, which generate a massive amount of data and it's very challenging to handle this data on a local server or a device. So cloud platforms offer high scalability and can handle large amounts of data, making it easy to scale your IoT solution as your business grow. Second one is about the connectivity. So IoT devices need to connect to the internet to share data with our other devices and services. The cloud platforms provide a secure and reliable way to connect IoT devices to the internet and other services. Third is data management. IoT devices generate a large amount of data and it's challenging to manage and store this data locally. So cloud platforms offer data management tools that help you store, manage and analyze data from IoT devices. The fourth one is security. IoT devices are vulnerable to cyber attacks. And in the previous video, we have also discussed about IoT security. So if you haven't watched it, please click on the right top corner so that you will get to know about the security. So securing the IoT devices is a significant challenge. So cloud platforms offer various security features like authentication, authorization and encryption, making it easier to secure your IoT solution. Integration. So IoT devices need to integrate with other devices and services to provide a complete solution. So cloud platforms offer easy integration with other services and devices, making it easier to build an end-to-end -end IoT solution. In summary, cloud platforms are essential for IoT because they provide all these uh, five features that we have discussed which makes easy to build and manage IoT solutions. So now let's look into the first IoT cloud platform that we are going to discuss, that is AWS IoT. Amazon Web Services AWS is a popular cloud platform and AWS IoT is its IoT specific offering. So AWS IoT provides a secure and scalable platform for IoT devices to connect and interact with other AWS services. AWS IoT offers a full suite of services that allows you to manage your devices, process and analyze data and to take action on that data. AWS IoT Analytics allows you to analyze and process IoT data at scale. You can also use pre-built analytics functions or create your own custom functions to derive insights from your data. AWS IoT also offers a rules engine that allows you 
to define actions to be taken based on the IoT data. You can use the rules engine to send alerts, trigger actions, or even adjusting uh, device settings based on a certain condition. So whether you're building a new connected device or uh, managing an entire fleet of devices, AWS IoT has everything you need to connect, manage, and analyze your data at scale. Now let's look into the AWS IoT services that are offered by Amazon Web Services. There are a lot of services that are offered under AWS IoT. So we'll be discussing them one by one. So first, we'll, we have categorized them into uh, device software, analytic services, connectivity, and control services. So let's look into the device software. Under device software, we have free RTOS, AWS IoT Greengrass, AWS IoT ExpressLink. So free RTOS is a, a user to deploy an operating system for microcontrollers that makes small, low power edge devices easy to manage. AWS IoT Greengrass is a service used to build, deploy, and manage intelligent IoT applications at edge with an open source edge runtime and cloud service. AWS IoT Express Link service is used to quickly transform any embedded devices into an IoT connected device with a minimal design effort using this hardware module. Next, we'll look into the analytic services. So for the analytic services, we have uh, AWS IoT Sitewise, which collects and analyzes industrial data at scale and make better data-driven decisions. AWS IoT Events, so which detects and responds to events from many IoT sensors and applications. AWS IoT Analytics, so it can run analytics on volumes of IoT data easily without building an analytics platform. AWS IoT Twin Maker. It optimizes operations by easily creating digital twins of real world system. Next, we talk about the connectivity and control services. So under the connectivity and control services, we have AWS IoT Core, which is used to connect IoT devices to AWS without the need to provision or manage servers. AWS IoT Device Defender. So this is used to continuously audit your IoT configurations and secure your fleet of IoT devices. Next one is about the AWS IoT device management. If this service is used to easily register, organize, monitor, and remotely manage your IoT devices at scale. And the last one is AWS IoT FleetWise. It is easily used to collect, transform, and transfer vehicle data to the cloud at scale. So next we'll look into the architecture. So here we can look into the IoT solution architecture where the IoT services are used and we can see where these IoT, Azure AWS IoT services fit into this architecture. So first we can see IoT devices such as medical devices, car sensors, industrial IoT sensors that generate the data. This telemetry data is collected using AWS IoT Greengrass, an open source IoT Edge Runtime and Cloud Service that helps you where devices collect and analyze data closer to where data is generated. When an event arrives, AWS IoT Greengrass reacts autonomously to local events, filters, and aggregate dev device data, then communicates sec securely with the cloud and other local devices in your network to send the data. In the second step, we can see AWS IoT Greengrass will ingest into the cloud using edge to cloud interface services, such as AWS IoT Core, which is managed cloud platform that connects, manages, and scales device, devices easily and securely. AWS IoT Core interacts with cloud applications and other devices. You can also use AWS IoT Sitewise, a managed service that helps you collect, model, analyze and visualize data from industrial equipment at scale. In the third step, you can see AWS IoT Core can directly stream ingested data into Amazon Kinesis data streams. The ingested data gets transformed and analyzed in near real time using Kinesis data analytics, uh, along with Apache Flink and Apache Beam frameworks. Stream data can further be enriched using lookup data hosted in a data warehouse such as Amazon Redshift. 
Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics can persist SQL results into Amazon Redshift after the customer's integration and stream aggregation. The results in Amazon Redshift can be used for further downstream business intelligence reporting services such as QuickSight. In the fourth step, Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics can also write to a AWS landmark function which can invoke SageMaker models. Amazon SageMaker is the most complete end-to-end -end service for machine learning. And then we have open search service dashboards that can be used to create personalized monitoring dashboards. The transformed IoT sensor data can be stored in DynamoDB. Customers can use AWS AppSync to provide near real-time data queries to API services for downstream applications. This is the introduction of AWS IoT as a cloud platform. Uh, we hope this video helped you understand the services AWS IoT offers and how they fit into the IoT solution architecture. As discussed, this is the part one of the IoT cloud platforms series. In the upcoming video, we'll discuss the Azure IoT cloud platform in the same manner. So stay tuned to my channel. Please don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to Leave a comment and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.